Hello, how are you doing out there? Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Farm Foods. Come and have a look what I got. So I was doing a bit of shopping as you do and I come across this kebab meat and cheesy chips. Now this was a recommendation. Um, it was a while ago now. I do apologise for getting taking so long to get to it. And it's MJ's Diner. Uh, 330 grams serving suggestion. Um, the cheesy chips look good, don't they? The kebab meat looks like the sort of frozen kebab meat that you get in all the packets now this was a uh, one pound 29 pence so it's it's kebab meat and cheesy chips um, i mean it's a it's a, a a sort of a friday and saturday night after a few bevies dream isn't it <laughs> however it's not it is friday but it's not friday night so we'll have to just sort of take this one into consideration so let's uh, let's have a look at the box. So that's the front. We've had a look at there, and we're going to go around the back. Uh, this is the back. There are the ingredients. There, look. Now allergens. We've got wheat milk in there. Cooked sliced donut kebab meat with crinkle cut potato chips, grated coloured analog mozzarella, and is it Gouda cheese mix and frozen. Mix, uh, that's bit, I th you know, my English is shocking, but I'm struggling to read that. <laughs> uh, so let's have a look, see what we've got. So we've got Donner kebab meat, 30%. Crinkle cut chip, 61%. Mozzarella and, is it Gouda mix? I have no idea what that is. 9%. Donner meat contains, here we are, wait for it, mechanically separated chicken, 65%. Beef, 10%, and the lamb, which it should be for me, is a 5%. So we know what this separated chicken is, don't we? This is basic, mechanically separated chicken. This is carcasses, skin, everything. They throw it in, I've seen them on the telly, throw it in a big mixer, mush it all together so it's like some sort of gloopy paste. <laughs> So I really, I should I should be just throwing these away now, shouldn't I? I shouldn't be even trying them. I shouldn't be even going anywhere near them, should I really? And it's got UK on there, 330 grams. Meat origin of the UK, packed in the UK. So that is, the meat origin is from the UK. So basically what this is, to me, it's just all the leftovers. It's like the end of the day in where, you know, the... At, near the abattoir, wherever they make it all in the factory. Right, what have we got left, uh, Sid? What's what's left? Well, we've got a few, you know, carcasses here and a load of chicken skin and lips and feet. Right, get it all here. Get it in this special mixer. Let's get some of these, let's get some kebab meat churned out. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? It is. I shouldn't be even attempting this, should I? So we'll just sort of proceed with caution. I know I've done loads of stuff like this before, but doing this sort of stuff, it makes you realise, doesn't it, what you're actually eating. Anyway, I'm going to get it open. Enough going on and on, like, you know. Let's just have a look, see what we've got. And you've got not to try not to think about it, haven't you, really? And But, right, I, I always butcher stuff here. I can't open stuff properly, I'll be honest. Not easy to open. Get out of it, get out of it. Right, there we go, look at that. Absolute, look at it. Look at that, I mean, I have done these dog chews before in the past, haven't I? <laughs> look at it all. There's your, there's your cheese, look, the cheese is obviously frozen as well. Chips, chips, we love chips, don't we? Glorious chips. So let's let's get a niff, let's get a whiff, let's get a smell, let's get the aroma, let's get my nose right in there. Yeah, you can get a sort of a whiff of spices, but it's obviously frozen. Needs cooking. So I'm gonna look at the instructions now. So here we have it, look. Remove foil, so basically put the pot to one side, put it in the oven, 15 minutes it goes in for. Uh, 220, 200 fan, gas 6. 
put it in the middle of the oven 15 minutes and then remove from the oven turn chips and kebab meat sprinkle a pot of grated cheese over the top and stick it in for another 10 minutes so it's 25 minutes all in all plus you're sort of heating up so about half an hour so if you like this video a uh, kind of video please give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed well hit that subscribe button it's free at the end of the day and hit the bell icon and you won't miss any of my video uploads i'm going camping today it's friday so i don't know when this video will be going out so I'm hoping to get some, it's going to be nice the weather, I'm hoping to get some uh, barbecue on the go. I've got, um, I've took uh, one of them disposable ones. So, and there's no internet as well where I'm going, it's totally off grid, it's up the lakes, near Glen Ridden. So I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so if you, if you don't hear from me, then you're probably thankful that you're not hearing from me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm having a th three days off, a three day break, so... We'll see. So anyway, um, let's get, I've just put the oven on, it's warming up. I'm gonna get this in the oven now, look at that. I mean, that's why, I mean, that's why it, it's it's sort of like dinner time. You know, these things are best consumed in the evening when you don't look at the box, when you don't review them, when you don't know what's inside them, and all you want is stodge. <laughs> right, I'll bring it back when, I'm, when I give it a good tossing. So it's had um, 15 minutes, so I'm just going to give it a toss now, give everything sort of a, a shake up. I will, I will show you now what it's like. The meat, yeah, I mean, I remember doing these sort of dog chew kind of kebab meat when I first started the channel and I actually enjoyed it because I, I you know, I, I sort of paired it with, I paired it with some garlic mayonnaise and some chilli sauce. There we are, look, this is that. And I put it in a pitta um, and I think I had onions with it and it was really, it, it, I enjoyed it, it really did. After a few berries watching football on a Saturday afternoon, it just hit the mark, but that's what you get, look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the cheese over the top. Now, you can... Obviously, put your own cheese on as well, can't you? You can stick your own chilli sauce on there, garlic, stick some raw garlic in there, mayonnaise, do what you like, you know. So we're going to get this. Oh, it's supposed to go over there, isn't it? I've put it on. The, it doesn't matter, does it? Let's be honest. It's, it's, you're going to eat a lot anyway, aren't you, to be fair? So I'm going to stick that. I'll, what I'll do, I'll just get this bits out of here. I've gone and put it on everything, haven't I? So there's not a lot of cheese on there. Now, I'd have a big mound of cheese on there now. A proper big mound, I'd grate a load of cheese, get it whipped on there like, a load of chilli sauce on there. So I'm going to pop this back in the oven and I'll bring you back in 10 minutes. So it's done, there we go, have a look at that. What do you think of that then? I reckon, I reckon that, that um, sort of mechanically reformed sort of chicken is a little bit overdone and dried out but, you know, that's just, I, I cooked it at the required temperature for the required time in the oven so that's what you get. <laughs> what do you expect? So let's get it out onto this plate here. Oh, that's just so dry. So dry. Cheesy, the cheesy chips look good. I'll be honest, they look alright. More cheese required though. More cheese grommet. Definitely more cheese needed. That little pot there is... But it's £1.29, you have to remember that. Yeah, there we are, look, it's dried out. It's dried out, look, it's all gone brittle and it's cracked. So, maybe stick some water over the top of it as well, so halfway through cooking. Oh, look at that. Let's look at that. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get, get dived into that. Dried out old mechanically reformed chicken. Ooh, lovely. Mmm. I mean, it's spicy-ish, salty, not resembling any sort of sort of kebab meat you get from your local 
lovely Turkish restaurant or kebab shop. But the spices are quite pleasant. I mean, I've, I'm a, you know, I'll be honest, I'm a sucker for this sort of food. I'll be honest, I am. I can't help it. I know it's rubbish for you. It's not great for you at all, but, you know, when you've been, not brought up on it, but, you know, working in the shipyard as an apprentice when I was 17, up till I was 21. Going out every weekend with the lads, the end of the week, get your pay packet, go out on the Raz, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, Got the kebab shop, that was what we did. We went out of the night, during the day, night, football out, watched, you know, nightclub, you know, kebab house on the way back. It was, just, I did it for years and years and years. And it's, you grow up on it, don't you? You do. So let's get into these chips. We're going on and on here again, like, just go off on a tangent. So let's, let's just get straight into these cheesy chips. I do apologise for the shadows. It is a lovely sunny day out there and I'm going to try and get some barbecues done when I'm, when I'm away. Mm. Yeah, them chips are tasty. That cheese is quite tasty as well. Ch cheesy, I love cheesy chips. Cheesy chips and gravy as well. If you've never tried cheesy chips with gravy, go and try it. Mmm. They're tasty, them chips. I like them. Kebab meat, shocking. Really is. Mmm. That's soft, eh? Mmm. That's a bit better. Still like a, a rubbery texture though, but better than the obviously hard dried out one. Like I say, it needs garlic, garlic mayonnaise, chilli sauce, load of onion, raw onion, in a pit of bread, all wrapped up. Oh, then you, then you, now you're talking. Anyway, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it again. No, I wouldn't buy that again. Saying it's got chilli sauce on there. It doesn't provide chilli sauce, does it, on the picture? Maybe if I haven't cooked it as long. Maybe I took the took, took all the sort of kebab meat out. Done the chips as per instruction. But took the kebab meat out and sort of done that another way to sort of suit your needs. Then it would have been maybe better. So, I, I'm marking it. As, the way I've done it now, it's I've, I've overcooked that meat and I've ruined it, I'll be honest. So what, I mean, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt here. It's a 7 out of 10. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching. I do hope to get some videos out, uh, some um, camping videos, and I'll just sort of enjoy myself and try and bring you along for the ride as well. So thanks very much for watching. Please take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.